Hi, my name is Muhammad Muazzin bin Basirus. My supervisor is Dr. Alexey Nailen. I am from Resource Biotechnology student. Today, I would like to present about the gradation of sugar from Sarawak Liberica Coffee Park using dairy products microbes. Here is table of contents. As we can see, summary, introduction, literature review, expected outcomes, working schedule, and reference. For the summary part, there will be a breaking down of sugar in the coffee pot with help of bacteria from the dairy products. They will produce the byproducts such as husk, coffee pot, and also water waste that will be eliminated into the river banks. This process also significant for producing the high quality coffee. Introduction Brief background Coffee is the one most consumed drink by people all around the world. For example, there were three main species of coffee such as C. Arabica, C. Canephora, C. Liberica and there were other hundreds of species of coffee all around the world. Coffee fermentation process is a process of removal mucilage from the coffee pulp. Problem statement. Naturally, coffee will be ferment for a long time period. Coffee fermentation also can affect the environment. For the objective of this research is to isolate the starter culture from dairy products and effect on the coffee pulp. To observe the time taken for the gradation of sugar in fermentation process and also to understand better and processing of coffee fermentation. Literature review Liberica coffee is the largest and tallest coffee species in Malaysia. This is because the suitable temperature and the osmotic condition is the most suitable for this species. Only a few of studies due to low yield of coffee production has been done in Malaysia. Anatomy of coffee cherries The structure of coffee cherries are consisting of exocarp, mesocarp, endocarp, perisperm and endosperm. Coffee byproduct Each of the process produce waste such as coffee pulp and husk. Produced by product and wastewater that will lead to the pollution. This will be affecting the resident who live nearby the coffee factory or the river. As I mentioned earlier, coffee fermentation is a process the removal of coffee mucilage from the coffee pulp. The enzyme that has been produced will degrade the glucose to help the coffee processing. There were three types of coffee fermentation. First is wet fermentation where the coffee will be submerged into the water. The second one is dry fermentation where the fermentation is without the water. And the third one is semi-dry fermentation where the combination of wet and dry fermentation. For the isolation of starter culture from dairy products, Starter culture often used in the cheese, wine, beer and also yogurt fermentation. There were two types of starter culture which is lactic and non-lactic culture. The main function of starter culture is production of acid, food preservation and also for flavor. Material and methods Materials Coffee pulp will be supplied by a factory from the Kuching Strawa. For the dairy products, which contain microbes that will help in coffee fermentation process, will be collected from the local market and will be stored in refrigerator. For the preparation of raw materials, the coffee pulp will be dried at temperature 65 degrees Celsius for 3 hours using drying oven. Then coffee pot will ground using the pestle and mortar and the green coffee will be saved using mesh seed. For the pre-treatment of coffee pot, by using LMAN plus coffee powder, 
will be treated with 15 ml of 2% H2SO4. Then it will be autoclave at 129 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Then by using filtered paper, it will be fitted. After that, pH will be adjusted by addition of natrium hydroxide until it reaches pH 6. Isolation of industrial microbe from dairy products. Adding 1 ml of sample stomach cats into 9 ml of sterile physiological water contains 0.85% of natrium chloride and dilute it. Then, we will be plating 0.1 ml a liquid of suitable sample dilution onto MRS agar and M17 agars. By using anaerobic jars, incubate the sample at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours to 48 hours in microaerobic condition with 5% of carbon dioxide. Using MRS agar, then we will plate to enumerate the initial growth of lactic acid bacteria in the sample. After that, select the result of solution microbes randomly and strip twice on fresh MRS to purify. Fermentation Cover the aluminium flask that contain hydrolyzate with cotton wool, then wrap in aluminium foil and autoclave it at 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes and allow it to cool at room temperature. After that, adding 50 ml of distilled water and analyze it with desired pH. Isolated 2.5 ml of beneficial microbes from dairy products and adding nutrient for each media. Incubate at high temperature such as 38 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Isolation of microbes from coffee pulp by serial dilution method. Ground the coffee pulp by using pestle and mortar, then add the distilled water. After that, drone an aliquot of the sample and serially dilute with dilution blanks. Then, plate it onto the potato dextrose agar medium and isolate the microbe sculpture will be characterized by morphological observation. The, isolation, the isolated microbes will be tested with the microbes from dairy products. Data analysis. Record the time taken for the microbes to degrade the glucose. Both glucose and cellulose level that has been analyzed during before and after fermentation will be recorded. Expected outcomes. The main purpose of Coffee fermentation process is to produce the high quality of coffee, especially for Sarawak Liberica coffee species. By addition of microbes from dairy products, we will help to reduce the time taken for bacteria to degrade the glucose during the coffee fermentation process. We have a proper treatment, we can reduce the environmental pollution. And also we can be a guideline to utilize and add value into the byproducts produced. So basically, this is my working schedule. This is the reference for my research. That's all from me. Thank you for having my presentation. Have a nice day. Thank you.